get into these week 15 games, man. Uh, let's start off with we got the New York Giants will be at home as their as their quest to get the number one pick and uh get a Shador Sanders continues. They'll be hosting uh Lamar Jackson, Baltimore Ravens. I mean, this is easily Ravens. It's gonna be a blowout. It's a nice get right game for the Ravens. Uh, and I think this is going to be something where it's just going to be a blowout, straight up, straight up and down. We're going to go uh, Dante, Joe, Bang, and then Courtney. Go ahead. Yeah, bro, easy. Blowout, I'll probably say 17 points at least. But, uh, you know, it is the NFL, so they may be able to make it a little bit of a game. But, no, I got I got Lamar and the, and the, the uh, Ravens. Joe, you going? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I was waiting for you to, to cue me in. Uh, no, nah, it's no out. Well, it's a, I'm going to say a pretty easy win. Probably three touchdowns at least. Uh, nothing competitive. Take the over, Ravens. I'm going Ravens for the sweep. All right, next one. Uh, we got Matt Jones and the Jaguars taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. Did y'all hear Ryan Clark destroy? Yes. Aaron Rodgers on first today. Uh, and, yeah, and amazing. Him. When he called him a fraud and said he ain't tough, Cam Newton face. Cam Newton's like, yo, this yeah. nigga really said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cam Newton couldn't believe he said that. But uh, I've got something for Aaron Rodgers in my – he will be inducted into the Goofy Mog Hall of Fame, the third member of the Goofy Mog Hall of Fame. I'll be inducting him to wrap the show up. But Jaguars, Jets, um, another ass game. I'm going to go Jets. The Jaguars are bad, but I, I believe in Aaron Rodgers more than I believe in, in, in Matt Jones. I'm going, I'm, going, I'm going Jets. I'm going with Matt Jones, dog. Fuck Aaron Rodgers. I never pick Aaron Rodgers again. <laughs> I'm going with the goddamn Jaguars. Um, I'm going to go with the Jaguars, surprisingly. I'm going to go with the Jaguars. I don't – man, it's it's such a clusterfuck with the, uh, the Jets. And it seems like the Jaguars are playing with a little bit more heart than they are. So I'm going to go Jaguars. J A G S Jags Jags Jags. <laughs> I'm going with the Jags as well. I will never ever support the Jets. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. Everybody, I'm not, ever, not, not everybody seeing what I've been seeing in the last couple of years. Um, this next one, Panthers Cowboys. Bryce Young, man, I'm glad that the uh, the kid is playing much better. Um, he's looking confident out there, and guess what? They get a dub this week against the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, wow. I believe they're going to get a dub. Cowboys are terrible. Uh, the way they lost that game when that football was hilarious. Um, and then this is going to be funny. Not really funny, but funny because we not, we did not see this happening. They're going to be tied with the Bears and wins. <laughs> when they win, when they beat the Cowboys on Sunday. I'm going with the Jaguars. I'm not the Jaguars, but the, uh, the uh, some niggas like Panthers. <coughs> Yeah, I'm going with Bryce as well. I got uh like I said, he's been playing really well since he got benched and came back. And um once they finally get some weapons around him, uh when the weapons they get, um they have rather actually hold on to the ball, you know, we might be having uh talking about a little win streak, but no, I think they get it done on Sunday. Uh <clears throat> I am going to go uh Panthers. I really like the confidence that Bryce Young is playing with. I think that's the biggest thing he was missing is just confidence in his game. Because before, it's like you could tell it was getting to him. Now he feels more relaxed. He's making the throws that he made at Mater D, that he made at Bama. And because of that, and on top of that, the Cowboys are with Cooper Rush. I got them getting that score. Hey, this is the game that Micah Parsons got to show out. So I'm going with the Cowboys. Give me the Panthers. I think it's time. I time think it's for time. Me. Time for them to win and time for the Cowboys to finally hit rock bottom. Give me the Panthers. Next game, Saints Commanders. Uh, Courtney, who is going to be our quarterback on Sunday? I, I, I forgot his name, honestly. Oh, it's, uh, it's Jake Hayner. Jake Hayner. Okay. He's like a contestant on The Bachelor. I know nothing about this nigga. Uh, the Commanders going to get an easy dub this week. I'm going with the Commanders. Yeah. D.C. Commanders. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. Next <laughs> next game, this is going to be a funny game just because the Bengals be in competition with niggas they don't need to be. Titans and Bengals uh, in Tennessee. Uh, the Bengals should win this game. I'm picking Titans. I don't know why. Something funny 
I feel is going to happen in this one. We all know they have a good defense. Offense has got awful, but the Bengals are just not a good team. Like, they really just got to outscore people, which they can. Obviously, they can outscore the, the Titans. But the Titans' defense makes me feel like this is going to be a stupid finish alert. I'm going upset, man. I'm going with Tennessee. Uh, I know I started the year off slandering, bro, but I'm gonna go with Joe Burrow. I think uh, Joe, gonna, uh, despite how good that defense is, he's gonna get he's gonna get the job done. And he'll score enough to get the dub. I'm going to go. I'm gonna go Titans. Furthermore, I'm going to have a Will Levis three TD game. That's Will, Levis, Will Levis is not a good quarterback. I mean, that Will, defense will allow it. Will Levis can do some fluky shit every now and then. I have a feeling it's going to be him and Joe Burrow will both have three TDs, but in the end it's going to be the Titans defense that puts a nail in the coffin. The uh, Bengals are just unlucky. They're just an unlucky yeah. team. They're also not good, but they're also very unlucky. Yeah. Cincinnati defense is terrible, but it's not terrible enough for Will Levis to not be ass. I got the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, I'm going Bengals as well. However, I do like that Will Levis three TD call, especially if about two of them Johns go to Westbrook Kikine. I'll, I'm still taking them. I'm still taking the Bengals. All right, this next one I think is going to be a good game. Uh, Browns Chiefs in the dog found. Uh, I think this is going to be a game. I feel like the Chiefs. Everybody wants them to lose now. Obviously, uh, uh, George, you said they can't keep getting away with this. I said they're practicing devil magic. They will be on the road here. I think this will be a game where the Browns have a really, really good chance of winning. But victory will uh, go through Jameis Winston's hands until the opposing hands of the defender. I'm going with the Chiefs in a very, very close game by a field goal. I'm going to Chiefs by like, I'm going to say 13, but it could be 17. I I think the, the Jameis Winston love fest is over. Like, like I always get a guy a lot of bail. He's fun to watch. He's hilarious. But no, not a, not a chance in hell they win this game. The horses are prepared for battle. <laughs> it comes from the Lord. I'm going with the Browns in a freaking upset. The Chiefs just, the, the devil magic has to run out now. And it's going to run out against God's chosen. Jameis is probably going to throw for four TDs and six picks. Jameis Winston being God's chosen is crazy. It's hilarious. <laughs> crazy when you think literally. about it socially, but we'll just ignore that and say <laughs> that he's going to get four TDs. I'm going with the Browns too, man. Hey, the hey, they got to lose. They got to lose one of these joints, G. And That'd this happen. is and this is a game where Jameis Winston would actually like get off. Paul, so I'm gonna go with the Browns on this one. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. We're all just gonna walk past that. That's no, crazy. that was crazy. Well, yeah, you gotta <laughs> say Paul's though. Yeah, yeah, you just say Paul. That was crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm going with the Chiefs. Um, as funny as the post game sermon could be, uh, I, I'm still going with Kansas City. All right, this next one, man, Texans, Dolphins in Houston. The Dolphins are playing some good ball lately. Um, the Texans have not. Trill Burger Twitter, a uh, Swisher House Twitter, one in my head when I said weeks ago, hey man, CJ ain't playing so well, and now we see how it's been going. Uh, I'm going with the Dolphins, I'm going with the Dolphins. I do not like how this Texans offense has been looking outside of CJ, uh, missing wide receivers, throwing BLTs. Uh, I just don't like the play calling, uh, by Bobby Slowick. And I'm gonna go with the Dolphins. As well. Dolphins are, uh, they're gonna try to. Try real hard to get that final uh wild card spot. Yeah, I agree. I think the Dolphins stay hot. Dolphins uh take care of business. I'm gonna take you all. Let me, let me do some just some quick research real quick. I'm gonna name you two different quarterbacks. QB one has thrown for 3,100 yards, 15 touchdowns, nine interceptions, 87.9 rating. QB two has thrown for 2,700 yards, 16 touchdowns, five interceptions, 87.8 rating. Do you know who those two QBs are? Yes, I do. Who are they? One is CJ Stroud, the other is Caleb Williams. That is a slump, my friends. <laughs> as much as I love CJ because he's a Buckeye, but I didn't have issues with CJ since year one with the Buckeyes. It's some shit I said. He, he tweaks sometimes. You used to cut CJ out every week when he I was used to Buckeye. be so fucking pissed. He didn't earn my respect until his last game against Georgia. And I said, kid's a baller. Before that, he would tweak. He's having a slump. That being said, 
You know what? No, I'm going to pick the Dolphins. The Dolphins are on a hot streak. CJ has been tweaking. I can't remember the last time CJ Stroud had a game that just was like, man, like he killed that. As a matter of fact, his last game was like one touchdown. Last game before that was two touchdowns. He has not had a really good game since like October. And even yeah. then he threw for like 150 and three touchdowns. Really, none of these games have been great. They've all been okay. And okay to ask. But I still think they have enough to win. The issue then becomes in how much of momentum that uh, Miami is riding now will guide them. I will say I think they have enough momentum to get it done. Go ahead, man. First hey, of all, Orla, relax. Relax. <laughs> Women, what? what, what? <laughs> Oh man, I forgot to mention that to you, Flows. My bad. <laughs> I just want to say my bad. Michigan um, fans talking to me like they the big dogs. I fucking hate this. I mean, yeah, I mean that's what happens when your coach literally goes one and four in his tenure. Yeah. Growing up, we lost like twice and won like fourteen games. It's this is terrible. I'm in hell. I'm truly. Should, in hell. Yeah, that's crazy. You I'm literally have one job, and that's the yeah. Game. Yeah, that's. I'm sorry, man. So that that just made me think about the game, man. Dolphins, Texas. I got the Dolphins in this one. Um, the Texans, um, the Texans, that defense, I'm not in love with that defense. This is the type of game that two of those four touchdowns and no interceptions. So, Yeah, I'm also going with the Dolphins. It's actually been really nice to see Tua. He, I guess he got, like, the good CTE. Um, <laughs> what the? He got the good CTE. The good what, CTE. Right now he's got, like, 15 touchdowns, one interception, 76%. Completion percentage. Yeah. The man's been balling out. He really did get the good, the good form of CTE. So I'm going with the Dolphins. Uh, next one, AFC matchup. We got the Denver Broncos, Bo Nix and them taking on Anthony Richardson and Indianapolis Colts. This one will be in Denver. I know Anthony Richardson's been quote unquote playing better, but cap. Not cap. really. Not really. Ass. Uh Sartan and his defense off of has the been playing better. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the bars yeah, in there. Like going from shit to like, all right, it's still yeah, not going to be great. Right, exactly. The only reason I'm going to shoot him, Bill, because I watched that fourth quarter where he threw like four dimes and they legit dropped Thank them you. bitches. Like, I saw y'all hitting people, hitting people the in the season. chest. And Anthony they were dropping Richardson them shit. He's a good quarterback. No, we just, no. I really think that we have to shoot that, these no. dudes some bail, bro. <laughs> we got to give these guys opportunities to grow. Dante, For like, me, hold on. I said at the beginning of the season, I think a lot of his issues are with his mechanics and that it could be fixed. And I still maintain that. Well, he also, he he also, again, to be honestly, I think to be an NFL quarterback now, you got to have maybe a smidgen, a skosh, if you will, of a bozo gene. And he yes, has it. That's true. He's got that's it. Heavy. Mechanical, if you, have, if you have mechanical issues, this defense is not the defense you want to go against. Give me Denver. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Bomani Knicks and the Denver Broncos. Bomani so, Bo 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 Knicks. <laughs> I'm gonna be very brief on Anthony Richardson. He is dog shit. I have watched <laughs> him since Florida. He is not a good quarterback. He does not understand defenses at all. His talent through the roof. I, I just never him. understood. They saw his pro day and said, oh, my God, top 10. I said, why? What did he do? He was shit. That being said, I do know right now that I feel like part of uh, the Broncos are riding a little bit of a high. And, it's, and so, though I want to pick Bo Nix, I'm going to pick the Colts. Ooh. I'm going Ooh. to pick the Colts. And I think Anthony Richardson won't dominate in the air. He'll probably throw for 180, touchdown a pick. It'll probably rush for, like, two touchdowns. That is my thought. I think on the ground they'll probably do the most of their damage. And then Bo Nix also just is coming behind a stinker. And uh, I'm intrigued to see how he bounced back. After having, I mean, I think he went three games with like two touchdowns, four touchdowns, two touchdowns, then a big stinker. So I'm intrigued to see how he responds to that. But I'm going to pick the Colts. That's a good point. If the Broncos lose, that seventh seed is up for grabs. That is, right. And that would be good for the Dolphins if the Dolphins beat the Texans. They're, they're trying to grab that. Uh, go ahead, man. Broncos, real easy. Broncos, man. Bo Nix. Broncos. Anthony Richardson's ass. Two words. <laughs> Denver defense. Give me the Broncos. Uh, next one, Cardinals, Patriots. This one is in Arizona. The, the NFC West has become like a triple threat match right now. Um, I think the, the Cardinals do uh, keep pace. I like Drake May, um, but the rest of that team stinks. Um, and not that the Cardinals are great either. The Cardinals are uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde every week, but I think you get good Cardinals this week because that Patriots defense is god-awful. 
Give me the Cardinals. Yeah, I got to go with uh, another one of my fellow short kings, Kyler Murray. I'm going to go with Arizona. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Patriots. Mm. Kyler Murray, I think, is starting to go on a streak of just trash. I think he started off the year very, very strong. Um, and then I want to say the last four weeks have just been very under. Let me last three weeks have been very underwhelming. And I think that streak is going to continue. Uh, I think Drake May is going to probably throw two touchdowns and probably two picks to go with it. He got a little bozo gene in him too. But I think he'll do enough for them to win. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. No, Murder Marv okay. ain't mid. The nigga no throwing to him no. is We're doing no Buckeye slander. Yeah, we're, we're the nigga throwing to him is mid. Yeah. The nigga throwing to him ain't getting him the ball, brother. He's not mid. He's incredible. He can go against anybody. He's just he ain't getting it when he, how he should. No nah, man, the Mayo going bad. I got the cat. Um, I got the Cardinals. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I'm going with the Cardinals. All right, let's go to the game of the weekend at Four Field in Detroit. The Detroit Lions taking on probably MVP Joshua Allen and the Buffalo Bills. This is going to be a game. Like I said, my pre at the beginning of the year. I said Super Bowl was going to be Detroit. Enough, Orla. And enough. Kansas City. <laughs> yeah. I said at the beginning of the year, I said it was going to be the Lions and the, and, the, and, the, and the Chiefs. I think the Lions catch an L on Sunday. I'm going with the Bills. Mm. On a, with an upset on the road in, in uh, Detroit. Give me the Bills. No. I'm going with the Detroit Lions, bro. I'm sticking by them. <laughs> I, 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 I picked them to win the Super Bowl, so I, I think I'm going to stick with that. I got uh, – I got them taking care of business at home, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Lions. I, I have them taking care of business at home. Josh Allen's can't fool. He can't fool me. I know who he is. I know exactly he can't who he is. Huh? He ain't even done no bozo stuff this year. He can't. That's the problem. That's that the, problem. the problem. The problem is he hasn't done it, which means that he, he got that there. chip in the back of his like head. That bozo chip is just blinking, and he's like, "I'm ready to do it. I'm finna tweak." And he's going to throw, like, two picks. He, on top of that, I don't think he's the MVP, but whatever. I am going to say Lions are going to win. Probably a very I, close If game. I had a vote, I'd give it to Saquon, but it's a quarterback award. Nick, are we missing what Lamar's doing? I mean, he won two in a row. You got to give bias because he won two in a row. That's Voter true. fatigue. Voter he fatigue. has, like, 3,200 yards passing, 30 touchdowns, three picks. And they're the, they the six seed. But go, go, ahead, uh, go ahead, uh, go ahead, uh, um, we got two coaches that are tweaks. So I look at the quarterback position. One, both quarterbacks can be tweaks. I look at the running game and the offensive line and the defense. Nobody gives a fuck about Detroit, but the Detroit Lions. <laughs> and J.R. Bank, I'm going to go with the Detroit Lions. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, man. Um, this is a coin toss for me. I'm still not sold on either team's defense. I know that sounds crazy. That's not crazy. There's still uh, there's still some question marks for both teams. I feel like I might change my mind come Sunday, but off gut reaction, I'm going with the Bills. Thank you. All right, somebody's on my side. Next game is pretty going to be pretty competitive too. Chargers Buccaneers in Los Angeles. Uh, Jay Herbert going up against. Baker Mayfield, the Bake Show. They're number one in the NFC South now because the Atlanta Falcons quit like seven weeks ago. Um, I don't. This gonna be a good game. I'm gonna go Buccaneers. I like the Bucks defense a little bit more than I like the Chargers defense. Y'all know I love Jay Herbo, uh, but I'm gonna go Bucks. Bucks been on the roll, man. I'm gonna go Bucks. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, Bucks traveling west. Um, Are you selling any tickets for this game, Dante? Uh, Chargers season. Well, I sell, well, no, I, I sell tickets for every home game, but I okay, will say this: um, I'm off. Up. I'm off. Sun, yeah, I'm off Sunday, Monday this week, and so I might, you know, make my first appearance at SoFi on Sunday. And, and my first yet. appearance at SoFi, okay. Yeah, but no, I'm gonna go with the Bucks. I think the Bucks are gonna get it done. I think, like I said, both teams fighting for playoffs, playoff position, and the Bucks right now have an opportunity to really take over this division. And, and they have to make as much – get as much space as possible because you lost twice to Atlanta. So yeah. I think this is one of those games where they go in there and they uh, they get it done. Mm, I'm going to go Bucks. I'm going to go Bucks. I like the position that they're in, the, the really desperation to win. Baker is one of the, the game's true gunslingers. 
the picks are going to happen, but he's going through a lot of touchdowns. He's yeah. about to break his single season record for touchdowns. I think he said it last year with 28. He already at 28. I'm 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 feeling the game that he's playing right now. He plays reckless and he plays like he wants to win. I think that alone is probably going to fuel them. The Chargers are getting a lot better. Obviously, they've changed under Harbaugh, but I don't think they're ready just yet. And then, of course, the the stipulations for the Bucks. I'm going to go Bucks. I'm going to go Bucks as well on this game. Just don't trust the Chargers and and in this game right here. I'm going with the Chargers. I don't know what y'all are talking about. They can't even pull out the fucking NFC sorry ass self. I mean, is 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 Ladarius? The only reason McCarthy? why they're even as successful as they are is because the fucking Falcons stopped playing, like we I said, mean, you, a month and a half ago, and I because mean, the fucking ass. So, you gotta take advantage do. of that. Is Ladarius McConkey playing this week? Is he still out? Not Ladarius. Ladarius uh, McConkey. I am not sure. Actually, I got booted out of fantasy playoffs by yeah, oh, a few yeah. points, so I'm still a little salty. So I haven't even opened the app. Uh, this next game, Battle of Pennsylvania, the Eagles at home taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers are killing. They got a chance to be the second seed this week if they can win and the Bills lose. Uh, but we know Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown might be a little squabbles going on in the locker room. Uh, Brandon Graham came out last Sunday. I'm um, last Monday. We talked about him on the show on Monday, saying them two niggas don't get along. Uh, A.J. Brown played the media game and said, no, it's all good. But you can tell that he got told by PR to say that. Um. I look at it like this. We all know Diva. We all know the wide receivers are Divas. They're 11 and 2. He's complaining about catches. We all know Jalen Hurts is not the best passer either. But I think that's more to do with the game plan of the Eagles has changed to being run first now since they got Saquon more than just uh, Jalen not being able to find A.J. Brown. Um, I do think they lose on Sunday. I think they lose on Sunday. I think the Steelers are going to take advantage of whatever turmoil they have. And I just love how the Steelers are playing right now. I love how Russell Wilson's playing right now. Um, if they can find a way to slow down that run defensively and make Jalen Hurts pass, it's going to be a good game for them. And watching Hard Knocks, I would sell my future kids for Mike Tomlin. He's an amazing coach. Like, I, I'd, be, I'd be hyped watching uh, Hard Knocks. So, I'm going Steelers. Steelers going to win this on the road. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I wasn't really concerned with whatever they got going on. Uh, for the past, past few years, we've seen the Eagles win despite all of the turmoil behind closed doors. Uh, unfortunately, this Sunday, that won't be this won't be one of those times. I'm gonna go with uh, Russell Wilson and the Steelers. Mm, you know, you make a good point about Jalen Hurts. I don't think Jalen Hurts is having a bad season. I actually want to say his accuracy has probably He's been not, his best. He don't throw a lot. That's why. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that, but that happens. Why do you have to? You got fucking Saquon? Well, exactly. There's no, there's no reason to pass as much when you have such a great running game. He's just not asked to do as much. And it's – I hate wide receivers for exactly what A.J. Brown did. I get you not getting the ball, but your team's winning. Meanwhile, Saquon didn't get a touchdown. He man, I'm cool, man. I'm glad we winning. It's just the difference between running backs and wide receivers. Have it's we typically- heard from Devonte Smith and all this? I'm not trying well, to be funny. They had a, had an NFL films <laughs> bite of him saying, uh, "I think AJ is telling like we got the pass game got better." He's like, "Yeah, like something like that nigga need to throw." I forgot what they called him saying something on the sideline though. Oh, this so this is just how wide receivers are. I mean, it, it happened in high school. Even though we're, I went to a public school and public schools don't pass, we have receivers upset. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? This is just football in high school. That being said, I am going to go the Eagles. I think they're playing very, very efficient ball. They're going up against a team when the Steelers is playing hot. It's going to be a great game. I mean, at the highest scoring, but I'm going to go, you know, Saquon is going to continue that pace for 2,000. Jalen will probably notch in 160, 170 yards, a touchdown or two. I'm going to go Eagles. I got the Eagles in this game as well. Russell got his. Got to take a dip sometime this season. Uh, yeah, I'm going with the Eagles. All right. Got a couple more games left. Sunday Night Football, Seahawks and Packers in Seattle. Uh, Gino and the Seahawks been playing really, really well, and I'm not taking the Green Bay Packers. I'm going with Seattle. Jordan Love will throw a couple BLTs the other team, though, in primetime in glorious NBC 4K. I'm going Seahawks. Uh, yeah, I'm going future Justin Fields. I'm going uh, the Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> I hate to say this. <laughs> I hate to say it. But one, and also this is blasphemous. On a personal level, I really like the way Jordan Love plays the game of football. Because he going to give up the rock. It's going to happen. The other team is going to get t- uh, interceptions. But he going to get touchdowns and he's going to fit it in perfectly. He is the only only Packers quarterback I genuinely have liked. 
the same way that J.J. McCarthy last year with Michigan. I genuinely liked him as a player. I am going to go Jordan Love and the Packers. They're going to win a good game. And we're going to get some more. What is what is their running back's name? I can't remember. The dude who came from the uh, the Raiders. Josh uh, Jacobs. Josh Jacobs Raiders. will get a couple touchdowns in there. I'm sadly going Packers. Yeah, sign up Josh Jacobs for another three touchdown game. Going with the Packers. Uh, yeah, I I second that. I'm going with the Packers as well. Monday Night Football, this was only for Courtney and Joe since me, Dante, and Bang already gave our picks. Um, uh, somebody said someone cut this man's mic off. Mute flows, Mike. <laughs> uh, me, Dante, and Bang all said the Bears are losing. Uh, Bang said it's going to be in blowout fashion. All three of us said the Bears are not winning another game for the rest of the year. Uh, Joe, who you got Who you got winning this one? <laughs> hey, who do you think I have? Yeah, I know you got the Vikings. I got the Vikings winning. If everybody here ever follows 312 Darius on Twitter and he has a picture of Triple H putting the suit on and said, yeah. We got our stats, we're done. Yeah. That's all that's going to happen. Caleb is probably going to get you 220, 230, but he's going to toss two touchdowns, baby three. They're going to lose. But yeah, no. Sam Donald was on a fucking heater that him and uh, Geno Smith in the latter halves of their career playing great football is just, I'm going to say great for Geno, but good football is mind-blowing to me it just goes to show that the process of developing a qb is not linear it literally can do twists and turns reverses and go forward but i think right now with sam donald's confidence as high as he is uh jordan addison and jj and jettas are, are playing well they're going to smoke the bears because the bears don't know what the fuck football is uh yeah i said a couple weeks ago that i thought um, that the Bears would win at least one of those matchups against the Vikings, and it should have been the one uh, a couple of weeks ago. That's a fucking sinker. They damn sure ain't, ain't, ain't winning this one, so I, I'm going Minnesota, sadly. Final game of the week. There's a doubleheader on Monday Night Football. Uh, Raiders, Thank God. Falcons. Thank God. <laughs> Raiders, Falcons in Vegas. This, to me, is – I won't say the diamond test game, but kind of. This is what prove if you're going to go with uh, Michael Penix for the next three games because if this nigga Kirk Cousins can't get right against the Raiders, there's no hope. Uh, so I'm going to shoot him some bail and I'm going to say the Falcons win and Kirk Cousins has a better game because I just, the Raiders are terrible. The Raiders are terrible. I'm going to go with the, with the Falcons on this one. Uh, I'm going with the Falcons, but I don't think Kirk Cousins is going to have a great game. And so you're still going to hit a call to Michael Penix, but I'm going to go with Atlanta. Kirk Cousins has not thrown a touchdown in 40 days. Yeah. yeah. I do not see that streak uh, ending anytime. In eight picks. Yeah. He is playing some of the worst football I've seen in a starting quarterback who's done better in their career ever. Because of that, I see the Raiders getting a win there. And then the slide will then result in Michael Penix getting the start way earlier than you expected him to. Let's get a chance to see what Michael Penix Jr. could do in relief. I got the Falcons, but Penix will play. Penix going to play the game. Okay. Yeah, I got the Falcons, but only because the Raiders are so fucking bad. All right. Um, that that wraps up our Week 15 preview. Of so cool. So cool. Triple double hat. Trick I know the code, too. Ice tray. Other lines, so I'm not gonna hold you. Money on the other lines.